With the first layer of your Rubik's Cube solved, you're probably feeling pretty good. You can see that progress is being made and you're starting to get comfortable with all the cube jargon I'm throwing your way. But don't get too comfortable because this next step uses the most complicated algorithm so far. With that said, don't be intimidated either. You are a champion. You can do it. Let's get to it. The first layer of your Rubik's Cube is now solved. Awesome! Reorient your cube so that the solved green side is on the bottom. On a standard Rubik's Cube, the side opposite green is blue. Therefore, assuming you're using a standard cube, the centerpiece of the up face should now be blue. If it's not, no big deal. Just understand that in the coming steps when I say blue, what I really mean is whatever color the centerpiece of your top layer is. Anyway, with green on bottom, look at the four edge pieces in the top layer and find one without blue as one of its two colors. If all of your top layer edge pieces have blue in them, bear with us, we'll get to that in a second. Hold the cube so that the edge piece in question is in the top middle of the front face. One of its colors will be facing you, and its other color will be facing the sky. Twist the up face so that the color facing you lines up with the center of the same color. Now, re-grip the cube so that the edge piece in question is once again the top middle of the front face. Looking at the right and left faces of the cube, you'll notice that one of them is the same color as the part of the edge piece in question facing the sky. If this is the left face, as is the case right here, perform the algorithm U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. If this is the right face, perform the algorithm U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. If done correctly, whichever edge piece is in question will now be in the correct place, oriented the correct way, and what you've already done will not be messed up at all. Find another edge piece in the top layer without blue in it, and repeat this process until the second layer is complete. Now sometimes you'll encounter a situation where all of the top layer edge pieces have blue in them before the second layer is complete. To fix this, find an unsolved second layer edge piece without blue in it and hold the cube so that this piece is in the center right of the front face and perform the algorithm U R U prime R prime U prime F prime U F. The edge piece in question will now be in the top layer and you can fix it from there. Once you've finished this step, assuming you did everything correctly, your Rubik's Cube will have two out of three layers complete. If you are with us up to this point, muy fantabuloso! You're ready to begin hacking away at the final stretch that is the last layer. And if you got lost, confused, or just want to reinforce what you've already learned, by all means, watch this video again. 